the most annoying XP that that Mobile Legends have ever experienced because whenever there's a turtle fight, whenever there's a um, a Lord fight as well, he takes that jungler out, and in this case, it's pretty easy since the jungler will not be moving around. Yeah, I think that this is going to be interesting. Level four first, Zixara on the turtle. Nico sees him as well. Looks like for Team Milgan and Burmese Ghouls, they mm. want to go for it. Shadow jumps in, tries to find absolutely anyone, but he's all alone. Split Ooh. split onto Zixora. So Zixora is not able to secure the turtle. Turtle goes over to Nico, but down bottom, Stitch gets the first blood, and Ethan gets caught, and Nico gets a kill. Whoa. That's what I'm talking about, Gideon. That's what I'm talking about. As a 1-1, one, one, that's not what you want to see. Mm. And right now, at the top side, Aizen is getting attacked by Nico Ooh. as well as Shadow. And right now, Aizen trying to fight for his life. Nico gets the ton off and Shadow grabs the kill. This Frederick is, is doing pretty good. Yeah, no matter. Oh, the gold. Oh. oh, but Flicker goes in and Forbit gets taken down. He should go down. He should go down. And Team Lilgun, if they don't... The map. It's actually so hard to read the map right now because every single person here, I think that they have a mind of their own. They are not following one shout call. And right now, Turtle gets secured by Zexora. Very good Minoon Free coming in from Ethan. Zexora is isolated. He's all alone, taking the Brunner damage coming in from Burmese Ghouls. It looks like he's going to get taken down. And Blinks gets Ooh. a good hook onto Ethan. Ethan able to survive thanks to Aizen. For a bit as well as Bebex tries to fight back. Bebex gets a kill onto Nico right now. Ethan's all alone with Shadow. Nowhere to go. Also gets taken down. Uh, it's one of those moments where it's been a while that you've got it. Oh! 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 Hook coming in from Blinkers, but that might be a bad hook. Isa goes in, wants to get for those kills, Ooh. but he gets immobilized. Killing spree for Stitch. Stitch coming in with the damage, and Bebex taking quite a little bit for himself. Shadow all the way behind. And Bebex is there, still surviving. And Ghouls with a 2.5k lead so far, they're, they're looking for that big 2x. And look at that, Burmese Ghouls started up, now pulls Xora away. Oh. Yep, Shadow's been doing quite a lot, and he finds Xora, gets taunted down. Xora nowhere to go. Crossbow tang off the stage, double kill for Nico. Burmese Ghouls is having everything that they want here. They have to deal with Shadow, like, he, he's in front of three people. I can tank, I can keep on doing this for as long as you need me to. Hey, you know what, Shadow, this is a good debut for by him, and Bebex gets locked down by Blink X, and again, sing praises for Shadow. Uh -huh. He's making a good reason why he's playing. Because at the end of the day, people can body block him. Shadow is going to make sure that if he already uses his champion, oh, no. oh no, they got one, they got four bits. So now it's four against five. And again, Nico is just facing everyone away. He gets Aizen. Aizen gets ton. He has to go away. Ethan could be free just to protect his teammates. But now Shadow doesn't care. Shadow's just zoning everyone away. Ah, uh, treat him like a gang. Treat him like a king when he comes in. Everyone just moves away. Stitch. Oh my god. Shadow also. There's a crossbow tank. Crossbow tank by Stitch. Zexora almost gets taken down. And Burmese ghouls. They're on the field and you are looking for that big one shot on the Stitch. I feel like the question now is how do you deal with Shadow? Oh. Like Zexora gets hooked in. Shadow oh. dives oh my straight god. in. He's gonna get terrified. Looks like now he's gonna use this split. Ether with the maneuver free. Able to get on to Shadow as well as Nico. Aizen has to go back into base. Blink X unable to find a hook. Orbit is out of HP. It's down. Killing spree for Nico. Ooh. And now Stitch flying high in the sky gets Ethan as well. Unstoppable for Stitch. They're gonna look for the end here. Two members, they can't hold on for 18 more seconds. Ah, oh, Forbid's not gonna make it back in time! Yeah, it looks like Aizen, try your best, but game goes over to Burmese Ghouls. Woo! The defense wasn't their strongest suit anyway since the star team Lil Gun cannot do anything when it comes to the defense. They needed to go in. They needed to continue pressuring from the early game, but they have filled down. Or at the very least, just showing up with stunts. The same problem occurs again fast. for me. Yo! Oh, the OG is here. But the same problem still appears for me is that Team Lil Gun don't, uh, don't have any magical damage that can be mentioned if Team Brimis Ghouls focus on the defensive so, uh, item. There's a limitation to it, unfortunately, right? There are conditions skill that need to, Yeah, it's a skill matchup, right? Very, very volatile. But now, let's see this very first turtle here. Zixora immediately on it. Yep, right now, Shadow front lining for the team. Ooh. Already gets level four. Turtle secures by Zixora, and Lena is going to get taken down. First kill, first decimate goes to Zixora, and now he's looking for Shadow. Double kill for Zexora. The one one. And now he's winning with the Bruno against the Beatrix. Oh, now Ethan face checking on the stage. Stitch. Whoa. 
able to survive. Ethan is the one taking quite a lot of damage. This takes him down. A very good kill for the Oh, but Ooh. Flickers in implosion into Zexora, double kill. Is that a triple? It's a triple for Stitch. Oh, really good call oh, there. They've already started to gather. Ethan hoping to instigate war. Oh. Very oh. good clapback. Nico gets pulled back just a little bit. Lina still has the Netherrealm. We'll use it there. And looks Ooh. like Nico is the one actually securing the turret for himself. And Blink X, very good engage coming in. Shadow gets a kill. Nico gets a kill. This does not look good for Team Lil Gun. Even the Forbid gets a return on to Blink X, but mm -hmm. yeah, this is a deadly With the draft. Bruno, it was a duel, right? Yeah, this is a deadly draft. And now Ethan. Ooh. Implosion coming in from Blink X. Isaac tries to save the team with the penalty zone. It looks like it's working. Isaac gets the first kill. Lena has to go away. Stitch. Still doing free damage on the backside. Shadow comes in. Shadow wants oh, no. Aizen. Aizen still survives. Zig Sora able to help his team out. That would have been so deadly. Good. I'm going to punish you for it. Oh. Oh. Right now, good implosion by Blink X. So far, just to make sure that they get the turtle. But looks like Aizen is going to get caught. Penalty zone trying to survive. Unstoppable from Stitch. Burmese goals at this point. Their damage is too much for Team Lil Gun. Ah, uh, Shadow, 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 Shadow. By now, his game style is revealed for me. He is not into the crowd control. Yeah, I mean, right now, Shadow gets Ooh. caught. Looks like he's going to get taken down by Zig Sora. Nico from the backside tried to zone everyone away, and looks like the damage coming in from Lil Gun is not enough. It's Stitch. Almost takes down Zexora. Shadow and as well, uh, from Shadow as well as their jungler, Boxer just getting right in front of her face to make sure that it's awkward and uncomfortable to move around. I've seen a lot of Uranus players being just bullies and oh. Shadow is one of them. And right now, Blink X again. Oh, oh my oh, god! He's coming in from Ethan. Ethan pulls him back to the stitch. He doesn't care. He has the damage. He goes and he flickers Ooh. forward, gets a double, and now Burmese schools. That was one of the chances Team Lil Gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for now, one inhibitor is already. Oh! oh! He's the room with a good implosion. Ethan tries to save his team again, but look at that engage. Zexora gets killed. Zexora gets Ooh. a double. Ethan gets another kill as well, and Bebek still no. survives. Stitch flickers forward. He wants Ethan. Ethan is still surviving. Bebek, the snipe is good, but the damage is not enough. Mm. Stitch. Stitch, Stitch, I think that the wounds for today will need a lot of stitches because we can see the amount of damage. The balls are not something to mess with. Look here, look here. He's even dealing so much damage to an XB laner. Yep. Honestly, I think that I will take this type of oppression before. Whoa, okay, Nico, let's let's calm down for Oh, Shadow wants to be sent back in Ouch. material too. Yeah, I'm going straight for Bebex. Bebex completed the third item, so Bebex oh. is a legit problem at this point. Right now, they're they're throwing everything <laughs> in the kitchen sink onto Shadow. Aizen using the penalty zone as well, and Shadow still survive with the Nether Realm. Link X, I'm pretty sure he's just waiting for that one opportunity to just flick a forward. He does! Implosion onto four, pushing everyone back. Bebex is still free hitting from the side. Shadow is able to. Aizen was already taking a lot of damage. But it looks like Sneeze like, nope, not enough. I'm gonna deal a little bit more. The Lord marches in and Blink X from behind catches Bebex. Bebex gets taken down. Burmese schools will end this game. They don't care anymore. They drop Lil Gun 2 to 0. The hope for Myanmar still alive as they beat Lil Guts 2 to 0. Making sure that their group stage run has a possibility, a chance, an opportunity to make it to the knockout stage. Team Lil Gun. Now the history is not going to say they are now. Oh.